Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see here, I have a whiteboard and I have a marker. And you know why? Because it's time to learn belly dancing. Okay, so today we will be uh, learning three belly dancing moves. And those are figure eight, twist, and jewel. My goal today was to teach my online dance program students how to do jewel because that's one of the moves that we will be using in our choreography. But before we get to jewel, we have to make sure that everyone understands and can do figure eight and twist. So I'm gonna bring my camera a little closer so you can see what's written here on the board. Okay, so, so as you can see, the first one is figure eight, the second one is twist, and the third one is jewel. Now, to do jewel, you have to combine figure eight and twist. So you see, you can, as you can see on the bottom, I wrote figure eight plus twist equals jewel. All right, so this is our theoretical part. Now we'll get to practical part. I mean, we'll, we'll start learning and practicing this. So the first one is figure eight, right? Figure eight. A lot of belly dancing moves are based on this shape uh, and are based on two circles. One circle, two circles together, circles on both sides. So figure eight, you can do figure eight uh, in this, uh, this position. Here you go, right? This is like frontal. And you can also do horizontal figure eight. So if you put it this way, it's going to be horizontal figure eight. Okay, so today we will be doing horizontal figure eight. So let's get started. To do horizontal figure eight, I would recommend that you get into a basic position. Uh, put your feet uh, one foot apart. This is our basic position, right? I hope everyone remembers. And now uh, I want you to kind of think about the sides that you have. So you have right side, left side, you have diagonal. You have diagonal, and then here also diagonal and diagonal. So we will be working to the diagonal today, okay? So first of all, let's twist our hip. Let's twist our hip to right and then to the left, to the right and then to the left. Let's start with that, okay? So now you're gonna twist your hip right hip to right diagonal here and you are going to slide your hip towards right diagonal okay so this is our point number one second you're going to take your hip to the back to the back right diagonal here back corner all right so what now you're going to do you're going to cut through the middle and take your hip to left diagonal here and then from here, you're gonna take your hip back to left leg, here, this corner. All right, now from here, you're gonna cut through the middle and go to the right, boom. Here, you're gonna take your hips back to the back corner. And then from the right back, you're gonna cut through the middle and go to the left front diagonal. And then take it back. Okay, so here is figure eight. It's also very, very helpful, and I use it a lot when I explain um, figure eight in, in class for my students. I always tell them, uh, imagine there is a big eight on the floor, right? Here is your eight. You come, you stand right in the middle of your figure eight. Here you go. Now, what you have to do, you have to draw this part of eight with this side, this part of eight with this side. So we're gonna start here, and then we're gonna take it to the front and finish at the back, right? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna twist your hip, you're gonna start at the front, then twist your hip to the back, and then you're gonna continue to this side, so it's gonna be your front diagonal, and then you're gonna take it to the back. Always think about this figure on the floor and that you have to draw it. That way um, you will not get lost. You will not get distracted with what your hips are doing, what your knees are doing. You just draw the figure with your hips. 
Your hips is your instrument for drawing, your pencil, pen, whatever you have, whatever you have in mind. So you have to draw the figure using your hips. Okay, so one more time, I'm gonna uh, turn with my back to you again. So we're gonna start to the right. Here is your right corner. We take it back. Now we're gonna cut through the middle and take it to the other diagonal and take it back. One and then two. Again, think about your eight, number eight. Good, one side and then the other side. One side and then the other side, one side and then the other side. So here is your figure eight. Next move is very simple. It's one of the basic moves that I normally explain for first time basic students during the first class is twist, hip twist. So to do hip twist, get into basic position, check your posture, chest up, arms out. You can also put them here if you don't like having them out, it's fine for now. So you start twisting your hips. The movement comes from the hip itself. So you just twist your hip, it's your lower back, it's your lower part of your spine. It is not your legs. You do not bend and unbend your knees here. You're just standing straight on soft knees here. Not here, not here, just soft knees. Comfortable position for you to be standing. You never stand like this, right? And you never stand like this. You stand like this and your knees are in soft position. So this is what you do here. Now you get in your soft knee position. You don't think about your legs anymore. And you start twisting your hips forward and back. Forward and back, forward and back. Let me show you from the side here. Forward and back. Okay, so this is how we twist. When we twist, we try to isolate our arms as much as we can. We try not to move them, so not to do this. Okay, so we try to isolate and move only lower body. So here is your twist. If you are in, in, in a class, in um, any studio where you have bars, you can hold, the, hold something, the wall or the bars, and this way isolate your arms. I also like taking my arms up, helps me isolate a lot, makes it much more difficult. Okay, so here is your twist. Now it's time for jewel. So to do jewel, we're gonna combine figure eight and twist. Now think how, or how you can combine figure eight and twist. Here is eight, here is twist. So I want you to think, before I show, I want you to think. I want you to try to combine them. So one of the ways of combining them is going to be probably hmm, not easy, I know. Right, so you do twist, and as you twist, you take your hips to the side and you draw figure eight. This is just one of the ways. This is called layering. Layering means that you do two or three moves at the same time, that's layering. What we're gonna do, we're not gonna layer. We're gonna do figure eight, and then we're gonna do a twist. Figure eight, and then we're gonna do twist. The only thing, we're gonna do half of figure eight in the middle twist, and then the other half, and then in the middle twist. So think, before I show, I want you to try by yourself, okay? That way you learn better, believe me. So you do figure eight, one side of figure eight, only one half of figure eight, then in the middle twist, and then take your hips to the other side, and then in the middle twist, try. So let's go, four, three, two, go. So one side of figure eight, twist in the middle, the other side of figure eight, twist in the middle. Try again, one side of figure eight, twist in the middle, the other side of figure eight, twist in the middle. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna show you. All right, so here I am in basic position, and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start to the right, okay? So, I'm gonna take my hips out to the right diagonal here. This is where I'm gonna start from. So, I'm gonna do first half of my eight, meaning this angle and this angle. One, two. And then here, I'm gonna twist. Boom, boom. So what I did, I, uh, with my left hip, I took my hip back and front. So here is your twist, boom, boom. You can do one, two, you can do one, two, three, four. 
score, depending on, on the choreography and the rhythm and the music. And then we take it to this side, finish it at the back, and then do another twist now with the right hip. Boom, boom. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this way so you can see me better from the back. Start on the right, let's go. One, two, twist, twist. One, two, twist, twist. One, two, this is half of figure eight. Twist with your left, boom, boom. Now do your figure eight to the left. One, two, and now with your right hip, twist, twist. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is the basic and the easier way of doing jewel. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of more ways of doing this. So let's practice a little more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right side, left twist. Left side, right twist. Right side, twist. Left side, twist. One, boom, boom. Two, boom, boom. With the front. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, as soon as you're comfortable with your hips, posture, chest, arms. Now, pay attention to your posture and in general, uh, performing of uh, uh, this move, uh, considering the full posture, okay? So while you're learning, sometimes you might collapse your upper body, not pay attention to your arms, it's okay, but as soon as you're comfortable, get into the correct position for classic belly dancing here, right? Posture, chest up, shoulders relaxed down, let's go. One, two, three, four. 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 All right, so another way, so this is the basic way, you're just twisting, right? We can also add a little, a little small details to that twist and do it a little different way. For example, we could do this, so here you go, right? We start on the right, and then instead of twist, bringing our twist forward and back, we, we could take it a little like to up diagonal. Boom, boom. Can we do that? We can, right? So boom, boom. And now the other side, one, two, so here, from here, you take it up, bring it down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I, if you are more experienced students and you know more about styles, you probably can see a certain style here. What do you see? What is this typical for? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is mannerism in dance, right? So this manner, what style is this manner typical for? If you're more experienced and you dance baladi and shabby before, you probably recognize that feel, baladi, shabby, feel. So here you're more relaxed, right? And the, the actions in your hips are more centered here in, in, in I would say in this, you know, like, uh, female center of your body, um, okay? So this is what you do, one, two, three, four. You see, everything comes and goes from here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is more typical for baladi, right? Baladi is based here in your hips. This is the area that's more active when you dance baladi. Okay, so here you go. This was your explanation. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna play music, I'm gonna play different types of music, whatever I like listening to today. It can be popular music, doesn't have to be uh, Egyptian music or Arabic music. It can be any pop song that's popular now. So you can practice to whatever music you like. So today I like listening to, <coughs> this morning I'm listening to a musician, uh, a violinist. I'm gonna play that music for you. And I'm gonna in the description I'll write who it is. If you want, if you like the music, you can find and practice using that music. And also there is another popular song that I'll play for you also, but we'll practice to it as well together. So just one moment, I'll play the music. So as you can see, I put camera at the back and I lowered it a little bit so you can see my hips uh, better. So let's get started. So what we will be doing, we'll be doing twist, we'll be doing figure eight, and then we'll be combining those two in 
into a jewel. Thank you. 